Hey everybody out there, this is Bandit for Life from League Gamers, bringing you a Yi Jungling Guide. Alright, so right off the bat, I buy a Cloth Armor and 5 Health Potions and go to the Double Golems. The Double Golems will spawn about 1 minute 35, I believe. And uh, just make sure your teammates are not near when you do that so they don't XP, uh, XP steal. Aukalee's just here in case they uh, decide to gank me, but she'll be leaving uh, any second now. At the double golem spawn, you usually won't get ganked because you have a pretty easy escape to the left or right, especially with Ghost. So right as they're up, you want to go for them. I was a little late here, but open up with an alpha strike and hopefully you'll get a crit off. As you can see there, I almost killed it. Only three more hits until I can kill it. Pop a health potion and go for the other one. Smite it and finish it up. So from here, you can uh, head to the Wraiths, getting Meditate as your second skill. Meditate is one of Yi's strongest abilities, plus Alpha Strike, uh, in the early jungle, because you can heal without health potions. So hopefully you'll get some crits off there with a double strike there, and uh, three kills really fast. Just go for the blue one next, and you should have him pretty fast. As you can see, I popped another health potion as I head over to the wolves. As you can see, I'm already a level ahead of everyone. Which is good. Targeting the middle golem or middle wolf first uh, with Alpha Strike and everything else. You should be able to take him down pretty fast with a health potion popped. Continue to finish off the other wolves, not using any spells because you want to conserve mana here. Right here, I always get a little bit mana blocked, and uh, you always want to be careful. You'll usually level up, and I or I like to get a second level and meditate here. Uh, because uh, in the middle of fighting the golem, I usually need it. So right here, you can see I'm just waiting. I pop another health potion to heal up to full health as I wait for uh, higher mana. I always uh, look to see how much mana Alpha Strike and Meditate will take, and I add them up and see if I have enough for both, because I usually like to have both in case I need to meditate quick if I get ganked or if I'm dying to the blue. So here I go. I was close enough to having 85 mana for Meditate. So I go in for the blue golem, I got two crits off on the uh, smaller golems with my, or smaller lizards or whatever they are with uh, Alpha Strike. So right here I pop Meditate as I go in, and he's about low enough to smite. So I hit him with smite, and pick him off. From here as you can see in my Aurelia guide, I usually uh, recall, but with Yi I don't need to. Now that I have mana buff and uh, cooldown reduction, I have meditate up a lot faster and I don't need to worry about the mana. So as I run up to the double golems again, I wait for meditate to come back up. Do not fear the unknown. And I decided to stop and uh, take out the race again. So right here I get a little low on health, so I believe I hit meditate. Great thing about meditate is that it gives you armor and magic resist. So, uh, things won't hurt you as much as you heal. So right here at level 4, I usually like to get my E ability to do a little bit more damage to, uh, minions and such. And also if I gank, I will have more damage. So I'm gonna go for the double golems again, opening up with alpha strike like always. If you haven't noticed yet, I pretty much always open up with alpha strike. So I make sure I have enough health and get alpha strike ready. Go in, not using smite, not necessary. Finish off that one and three hits. And go for the other one. My meditate is up in five seconds and that'll give me about full health once again. Also, uh, please take to note um, that you don't need to follow my skill build exactly or my item build and you can uh, change that up a bit, because uh, everyone likes something different, and uh, it's whatever you're used to and whatnot. But I just enjoy practicing and developing new tactics and techniques for uh, different champions. So here I go for Lizard, I'm getting really low, so I Alpha Strike to give me myself some time to get Meditate back up and hit Meditate as soon as it comes back up. So I smite him, and two hits to finish him off. Now that I have blue buff and red buff, um, I'm gonna go get the wolves, and then I'll probably back. I should have probably ganked here now that I have both the buffs, but I did not. Certainly. I 
I decided to go for the wolves first. And as you can see, I'm just waiting for Meta to get back up again. After these, you can either choose to go back and whatnot, but instead I head over to their uh, jungle after buying, actually. And uh, I think they have a jungler on Team Jungle Ramus, but I can see that he is distracted mid, so I decided to grab it real quick. Ramus is probably heading over because he just disappeared from mid, but I have Smite up, so I can run over here. Check if he's coming using Meditate right there. And he's nowhere to be seen, so I head over to kill those other wolves, and then I head bot. As you can see, I ghost. Go for Graga. TF ult in. And then we go for Caitlyn, and she dies very quickly also. So there's two kills, one for me, one for Twisted Fate. It was a little late for my first or second gank, I believe, but uh, it definitely worked out. And uh, I purposely hit that Yordle Snap Trap just to get rid of it while we were there. Plus I have blue buff so I can meditate freely. So as we're here, I figure we should get Dragon. And TF stays to help. And Shen goes in first, which he shouldn't have. But it targets him. Oh, it's because he taunts it. That is what I was saying. And so the Dragon switches to him. And he gets very low by the time we almost have it. Malzar obviously has a ward here, and he sees it, but he doesn't get to steal it. He uh, kills Shen somehow, even though he didn't have his dot on him. Fiddlesticks alts in. They split up. We go for Caitlyn first. We get Garaga salted. We're not gonna shop Caitlyn. And we let Gragas get away. So we see uh, Ellie Pro or Akali is dying up top, so me and Shen head up to help. Ramus powerballs and Shen goes in for the taunt to stop it. I alpha strike in and start hitting him. Ellie Pro gets taunted, and we finish Ramus off. Akali is still alive. So once again, I'm gonna go for their blue, throwing down a ward with my Wriggler's Lantern, or Wriggle's Lantern. And while we're waiting to kill this, I just wanted to say, um, sometimes I will call people by name or game name instead of their champion name, so just look for that if you're confused. So I finish off that, uh, get the wolves again, and head down bottom. In the bush I find Caitlyn, alpha strike to her, ghost, ultimate, put my E on, and chase her down. And she almost has no chance, even with her slow and flash, my ultimate makes it so I can't be slowed, and she dies instantly. So here we go, level 9, I'm in mid lane, Ramage Powerball is into me, taunts me, and I ult and run up. So I got away from that, Akali is down near Dragon, looks like she wants to go in, and Shen is going around also. Fiddlesticks ult, even with his low health, and goes in for the kills. Ramage comes into us, and dies. Malzahar also dies, as... Gragas turns around and dies to Akali's insane damage. So here we go for another team fight. Kogma goes in to help his team and me and TF cut him off. Even with Flash, he's not able to get away. So we headed over to help Akali kill Ramus. But I actually thought I was going to get back, go back and get blue, but uh, that didn't work out. So there's three of them here. And three of us. We finish off Gragas. Kill Ramus here. And I think I'm going to go for Caitlyn, but I decided not to. I go and meditate and we head out. So here you go, 1v1 with Ramus. His team looks like they might be coming, but I'm not sure. But I decided to go in for it anyway. Ghost, E, and uh, my ultimate. And I take him out quite quick when he taunts me with three consecutive crits. I get out with half health, and Malzahar happens to be right there. Even with Shen's ult, I'm not able to survive. Shen also becomes very unfortunate and dies while he's trying to help me. Here goes Fiddle, he's ulting. I go for Kog'Maw, my team goes for Caitlyn. 
and I'm able to take him out very easily. And if, also, if you look and see, I have two zeals. Um, I like getting two zeals early game. I like the movement speed and the attack speed as well as the crit chance. The movement speed's really nice. Uh, with my ult and ghost, I usually can always get away. And as you can see, we're trying to push and Ramus and uh, Bragas hold us off. Let's head over and get the wolves for some life steal. With my regular's lantern, I get lots of life steal, even though only a few creeps. So my team's going in for another battle, Ramus engages. I see Malzahar over the wall and Alpha Strike through the wall onto him. Just because he's squishy and a nuke, I figured it would be better to go for him first before I go for their other people. I two hit him and go in for Dragas. He dies quickly. And Akali's able to finish off Ramus. Pogma is the only one who lives, I believe. So we go for Baron, and uh, we're interrupted by a surrender vote. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching it, and I'll see you next time.